Hi guys, good day. This is me again, JR, and welcome to Place by K. Today we will be showcasing another uh, video for Ragnarok Origin for a uh, champion guide. So uh, with this, we will be showcasing a Zek character. It's my friend uh, Cedric. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this build, we will be showing first the stats. So for the stats here is actually based on uh, how we can reach the 500 uh, attack speed. So for him, it would be 87 AG, then lock would be 73. So lock, of course, we will be basing lock for higher critical chance. So the build that we will be showcasing here is a critical champion. It's not a spike type, but it will be a knuckle type. So that would be Zenga. So next would be for the skills. So uh, for the skills, we actually have here Demon Bane level 10, Blessing level 10, Increase AG level 5, um, Angel use of course because you will be doing continuous DPS and if you are grinding, you can also, uh, this can also be very helpful. Then for second job, we actually have max uh, triple attack, max iron palm as well. That's to increase your physical damage or physical attack. Next would be the critical explosion. So critical explosion here will be helping us to increase our crit rate or crit chance by 20 for uh, 180 seconds. So 20 is equal to 20%. Next would be Asura, of course. So for Asura Strike, this will be level 5 as well. Then for uh, Spiritual Cadence, this will be level 5 as well. Body Relocation, level 1, Flea, max for Flea. Then next would be for the trans job skills we have zen of course max zen level 10 feast of four symbols so again we will be uh, using this on our auto because it will actually provide us 100 percent of increased damage for our triple attack so uh, next would be the uh, connected way of fist so this benefits the uh, knuckle type weapons so it increases the physical attack by 20 percent you are using a uh, knuckle type weapon next would be tranquility of course to give you a regen for sp and hp as well so next let's go to the uh, item build so for the item build uh, what we have here and what's uh, very important here is of course the weapon the zenga so for zenga for uh, every spirit sphere you have all stats plus one up to five spirit spheres are taken into calculation so that would be a total of um, plus 5 all stats. Next would be upon casting Fist of 4 Symbols. That's the level 10 that I've shown you earlier. So attack speed would be increased by 8%. So crit damage by 10% for 40 seconds. Next would be if your Zenga is refined plus 6. The buff of Fist of 4 Symbols is increased to attack speed 12% and critical damage 15%. So it will enhance your attack speed. So later we will tackle that. Next would be refine plus 10. The duration of the Feast of Four Symbols buff is increased to 120 seconds. So uh, that is actually um, very helpful as well so that you will not be casting Feast of Four Symbols most of the time. So uh, for your next one, refine plus 15 for every spirit spear you have. All stats plus 2. So um, aside from the all stats plus 1 here, you will have all stats plus 2 which will give you a total of plus 15 to all stats. So we will be using Baden card, shaft card, uh, element and racial type for the dummy so that we will be showing the uh, highest damage that we can do. And um, next would be the accessory. Of course, we will be using Matthias Leash because um, Matthias Leash actually provides higher AG and higher damage depends on the AG that you have. So uh, two of that, he's actually very lucky, he got two of those. So um, next would be the Luna Glyph. So for the Luna Glyph, this is actually very important as well because it will give us a uh, higher attack speed and movement speed as well because it's stacked with the uh, buff of Acolyte. So next would be the uh, armor. So for the armor, we will be using Tears armor here. So uh, aside from that, he is actually using Awakened Piggy card, so that increases your physical attack and STR as well. For the shoes, he is using Vidar shoes and um, using Awakened Thief Bug Mail card, so that provides AG plus 3 and damage reduction and physical damage reduction, though it's not that important, of course. 
for uh, the build or the DPS build that we have. Most importantly for the course, the important course that we need is actually Lightning Rush. This is very, very important. So for example, you will be having a 100% crit rate. So for Lightning Rush, it will increase the crit rate of your triple attack by 60% of your current crit. So you will have a total of 60% chance to crit trifecta. So if you have 100% or 100 crit, you will be using this to provide 60% chance to crit for your trifecta. So that is actually one of the best skill of, or the passive skill for champions then uh, next would be the aftershock so aftershock of course it will provide you critical depends on the level of, of the core so for every 15 normal attacks that hit the target you will gain 10 crit for three seconds that's for this core because it's level one so for awakened it will just increase your um, attack for every spirit spear that you have so next would be the uh, um, actually asura flash we will not be uh using this that much here but of course if we can use a different core for that so for example himno brahma so we can use this for auto attack so it will provide us 140 percent more effectiveness of iron palm skill let's now try and do the test damage so again this uh, dummy has these stats um, we will be using fire medium and demons so this dummy is like moonlight so that's the stats the race and the uh, size of moonlight so let's try to test our damage so first let's check for the uh, um, attack speed that we have so let's try it now uh, if you notice guys we don't have momentum management here we focused on all the cores or the damage cores that we can have so uh, let me show you the attack speed that he has right now so it's a total of 489 attack speed that's without any food buff it's just the zenga buff and also uh that's for the uh um, increased agi of the accolade buff and the uh, increased agi of the luna leaf gacha so as you can see the critical is uh around 100k so that's because of the lightning rush so that's the purpose of lightning rush so for example we remove that there will be no critical for um triple attack you can notice so there's no 100k triple attack so if we put that back it should come back so that's 100k um no not that one there you go it's 100k critical so that's 60 that's total of 60% chance to crit for the triple attack. So next, let's try to use a food for that. So that's just level 1 AG potion or the 1 star AG potion. So when we use that, we should be able to achieve the 500% uh, attack speed. Here you go. Alright, so um, next would be uh, trying to use a converter for this. So let's try convert stats let's use the water converter because this is a fire element so let's check how much will be our damage so especially for triple attack so that's around 150,000 that's the highest that we can have 150,000 yeah 170 okay so um if you can see this kind of build is also achievable even if you are free to play player but uh, of course, the only problem that I can see here for this build is that you can't maximize the uh, Asura damage. So for example, the one that I created, the uh, Malang Crab um, video last time. So it's like switching to uh, do the Asura, but here uh, it's more on physical attack. Because first, let's try to use um, the Fist. So that's level 50 Fist only. So if we do use it, and uh, provide us with damage so that's around 160 so let's say that it's a level 80 fist so that would be around um, 2m maybe so for me if you want to achieve much higher damage it should still be switching to asura then uh, do the dps so if you can see this kind of build is uh, very very viable especially for um, f2p players so what we can have here is to do this kind of critical attacks then uh, next we'll be switch to fist with the asura go back to zenga 
so continue the damage so if you can also have the uh, uh, Phoenix core that will also help us um, enhance the uh, damage that you have so if we compare this kind of build uh, the Zenga to the uh, crab claw uh, I believe I will still be picking the uh, Malan crab claw because uh, of course it has actually a higher damage because of the buff when triggering triple attack so uh, that's actually high as well so it will provide higher damage for your um, trifecta and next would be for the asura damage since uh, this kind of build is based on luck of course luck does not provide a higher damage bonus for asura so it is always strength so that's the other um, advantage of the uh, malan crab so yes uh, i think that's all guys and again thank you for cedric for uh, showcase his character so that you can actually see how the uh, zenga build is and without trying to do it on your own and wasting your own resources so again cedric thank you very much so i think that's all guys so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and um, leave a message if you wanted to ask for a different build for champions we will try our best to um, reach out for those people or I will try it myself but it depends on the resources. So um, hope to see you guys on my next video and uh, see you soon. Bye bye!